Hello, this is Maurice Dimba. Welcome to this presentation. Today, we are going to model a bridge hammer-headed pier. We will first of all create grid by double-clicking on this default grid. We will feed our dimensions here. We'll amend this. Just delete everything there. We'll type 3 seven by 7 meters. We'll go there and uh, feed this 6 meters by 15 by 15 meters. We'll come here at, at Z. We'll feed zero, 0 and that, 0 and that, 6400, and uh, probably 7900. And the uh, top of the hammer is 8, 8500. Our labels here. A, B, C, D is OK. On Y axis, we will feed, we will add 4 there, and 5 there, and probably 6. And remember, on, on Z axis, the measurements you've had here must marry this. Now, we will do away with negative 450. Delete that. We will feed 6400. Here, 6400. Again, here we will feed 7900. 7900. Again, here we will feed 8500. 8500. If, if you take a look, these measurements are the same here. Nice. We will go ahead and click modify the grid, click modify, click yes, close this, right click on this box, right click, fit on, in, uh, on the whole model, we will go ahead and create our column, go to concrete, go to column, there you are, Right click, disable that command. We want to change this profile. We don't need a, a squared column. We need a circular column. And a circular column, we will, we will only get on the profile catalog of all members of concrete and uh, steel members. Now, we will double click on this. This dialog box of concrete column properties will come up. We will go to profile. We'll click profile here. We'll go straight. We'll go straight to others. We'll go to others here. Come all the way down. We'll select D. On this D, we will feed our measurement size of the of the of the of the column here. Click there and change this to 1600. That is, that is the diameter of our circular column. We will apply that and accept. Here the same. Apply or modify and accept that. You see, it's actually circular. Double click on this column, go to position, you see it's way down 450 inside the ground. We will give it, we'll take it to zero, 00 level. There you are. Attributes, 
we'll modify click modify apply and accept that but before we go ahead we will create views here which are more critical to us to our to our modeling processes now we will go to click, click here right click go to create view along the grid lines create view we want to pick grid 1 we want grid b and grid and a plan at hammerhead 8.5 there you are okay okay we will go to our 3d there we'll go straight to placing our footing for this column we'll go to pad footing we'll click there expand size of our of our pad footing D double click on that this dialog box will come up feed your measurements for for the footing here Three hundred uh, th three meters, three meters by six meters is okay for us. Modify, apply, and accept. Before you are, you press, you click OK. Check the position. The height of the footing is uh, ten fifty. Press OK. go to grid one view our column is hanging up double click on the column go to position enter uh, before you enter any dimensions check the measurement between the column at zero and uh, the top of the of the footing come to edit come to measure pick free distance we want to measure from here pick that we want to measure from here to here that is for 50 now we double click on this column we come to position and feed here negative 50 negative 450 and apply and modify apply and accept that we are good to go now our peer height is 6.4 meters double click on this and change this height to 6.4 meters apply modify and accept that now what we are going to do we want to create some points to guide us in creating the hammerhead of the pier come to edit come to points come to extension extensions along extension of two points click there not the right ones extensions along pick that our point is here click that point give your cursor an orientation and place your cursor there and don't click enter the dimension we'll, we'll feed in 1165 and press enter just zoom closer you can see a point there right click and disable that come to points again pick that snap at the center here run all the way to that point and don't click just feed your measurement 1165 and enter that right click to disable that command close this now we want to create the the hammerhead of this pier we will go to concrete go to slab 
start it all the way from here come here come down here link up with this point and this point and this point and finalize everything here there you are go to your 3d or isometric view increase the thickness of this uh, concrete double click on it thickness we want 1500 1500 is okay for us modify that go to position click middle nicely done we want cast in place not precast so make sure you select cast in place apply modify and accept that now over here we want to create our pedestals for the bearing and the beam that will be running on top of this hammerhead pier. Now we will create some points. We'll go to edit, go to edit, come to points, click there, click in the middle here, click in the middle there, place your cursor here, feed in to two, two meters and enter. close that come back again click that point snap at that point direct it in that direction and feed 400 because it is a it is a 800 by 800 square 400 and enter that we want to copy this now select that and copy it from this point and place it here. Copy this, select that, press control, right click copy, pick it from this point, direct your cursor and place it there, feed 400 and enter. Now pick this, press control and select this, right click copy, not that way, pick this, press control, pick that, right click copy, pick it from this point, Pl place it here. Now you have your points well marked out. Now. We will go to concrete, go to slab, pick that point, this point, and that point, run that point, and place it there. There you go. Now, we want to populate this on top of this, uh, on top of this pier. Now, click that. We don't need this. Click that, right click, go to special copy, click linear. Check your x, y axis. We want to populate this along the x, x, y axis. We want six of this, but we've already made one. Now we, we, we will populate five of them at an interval of 1.6 1 1.6 meters 1 1.6 meters now on uh, x axis we will feed we will feed and uh, we will feed 2 meters not, not actually 1.6 we will feed 2 meters 2 meters how many copies do we need we need 5 try copy
not right. We will undo that. We'll try 16, 600, copy that, 2 meters, 6, delete, undo everything, copy, Okay, nicely done. There you go, go to elevation view. There you go. Right click to redraw that. This is our pier. We'll double click this and uh, increase the height of our pier to 1.5. Apply that and accept. Save your work. Switch to 3D. Now we want to populate this along this grid. Select everything, right click, go to special copy, click linear, check your axis, it's Y axis. Now we have nothing to do with X axis, we'll delete everything there, we'll delete everything there. We'll come to Y, y axis and feed 15 meters. How many do, you, how many do, you, do we need here? We need one, two, three, four, five. We'll feed here five. And go ahead and press a copy and press copy. Expand. Okay. Right click and interrupt that to do to disable that command. Now here are the peers for the bridge. Nicely done. Go to view. Go to navigate. Cl click uh, rotate with mouse. There you go. Nicely done. Let's rotate. We will wind up here and continue in the next episode. We will be discussing on, on uh, how to place, how to reinforce this hammerhead pier. And thanks a lot for watching this video. And make sure you don't forget to subscribe to more videos. Thanks a lot. And welcome for the next episode. I'm Maurice Limba. Thanks a lot.